So there was a time at my old job where I would work as a sales assistant. So I'd work for a marketing agency, we'd have clients call up saying, yep, I want X, Y, and Z product. It's like, cool, we print the products and we send them out to them. And for a while, I was very, I was very insecure, I was overwhelmed, I was stressed, okay? And I'd sometimes get orders that would stress me out so much that I'd just put them to one side and I wouldn't touch them because it was such a huge or such a complicated, stressful job when I've got like 40 other jobs that are currently ongoing that I need to handle, calling clients, emailing, all this sort of stuff, dealing with artwork, printing, getting stuff dispatched. There were sometimes these jobs that even just the thought of looking at them would stress me out. So I'd put them to one side and I know this is not good. And if Ryan, you're watching this, my old boss, I'm sorry, but they did get sorted in the end. But for a while, they would put to one side because I was stressed and I did not want to touch them. And over time, I kind of, I, I'd always push it back on my client. And again, this is a horrible, <laughs> horrible work ethic. I'd always push it back on my client and, and sort of ask them questions. So I'd sort of leave it with them instead of me having to do it on my end. And eventually it caught up with me as all of this stuff does. And it was like, shit, you're in a fucking hole now. And I had to, I was staying late every night. I was so stressed. I had so many things to do and there was no way out of it. It was not like I could just be like, don't want to do that. Like I had to do that. Like we had clients paying us and I was like, shit, this needs sorting. So with the help of other people, I, I got to those jobs and the reality is it wasn't actually that difficult to do. There's a saying that I'm gonna butcher, okay? I think it's something along the lines of fear is a mile wide and an inch thick. So it looks, on the outside, it looks huge, okay? But when you get to it, you can just break right through it because it's so thin. It looks huge, but when you actually come to it, it's like paper, you just sort of be like, oh, this job isn't actually as stressful or as life ending or world changing as I initially thought it was. But I was just running from my problems and the stress that it was building was compounding. It was like this snowball. Every day that went past, I had this thing in the back of my mind of, you're ignoring that, you're ignoring that, you need to do that, you need to do that. But it's such a horrible demonic thing that you have to do. Like, that sounds awful. Let's just, let's just go, let's just focus on all these nice little easy jobs instead. So that's how, that's how it went. It weighed heavily on me. Whenever I'd sit at my desk, it's like I had this looming figure behind me, just like, you've got to sort me out, bro. You've got to do this. And I'll just, I'll just focus. I'll be like, no, you're not there. I'm doing my work. Fuck off, essentially. And what I was doing, not only, let's just skip, like, I wasn't the best employee, I will say that. Um, and the actual, apart from that, the internal thing was that I was admitting to myself that I wasn't capable of solving that problem. And that creates a very negative self-image within you. When you have these problems, you have these stressful situations and you just run away, you're not only ignoring this problem that needs sorting, you're admitting to yourself that you're not capable of sorting that, okay? So you need to attack these situations. We all know this, like, you learn from it. If you're fat, you can't run away. Run away, the, the obviously, I was not meant to joke there, but if you're fat, you can't run away from the fact that you are fat. You can't just click your fingers and solve it like that. You have to face the problem head on and be like, right, I need to eat less, I need to be more active, and I need to cut out all the processed shit. I need to do that. This is facing the problem head on. I can't just bury myself in another pack of Oreos or have a bath in Ben and Jerry's. Like, I can't do that anymore. I need to face this problem. Because further down the line, that debt, that karmic debt of ignoring this problem will catch up on you. It always does, okay? So the best way 
and the, probably the easiest way to, well, the best and the easiest, ignore that. The best way to overcome these problems is to literally articulate them. And what I mean by this is talk about your problems out loud to yourself, okay? Just talk to yourself, just sit. If, if you're at your desk and you're thinking, shit, I've got, I've got this client project, for example, or, oh God, there's this issue in my relationship. If you literally just talk it out loud, nine times out of 10, you will come to the conclusion by yourself just by talking. Because your brain just figures it out, like subconsciously, as you are speaking, okay? That's all, that's all really happens. Nine times out of 10, if you just talk about your problem out loud, you come to an answer. And then you're like, oh shit, that's actually not as stressful. Like this looming figure behind me is actually much more manageable, okay? And there will always, like another thing is there will always be these things in life, these problems that come up, these stressful situations, and they're not gonna go away. They're not gonna get easier. Yes, you might have more money to deal with them. However, these situations are always gonna come up. That's just life. You don't, I mean, the situations don't become easier. You just become more capable because when you show up every single day and you face your problems, you build that unbreakable self-image, which is what I bang on about. You need that confidence in yourself and be like, yep, yeah, cool. This is just another thing I have to deal with. That's life. I've dealt with all these other things in the past. I've got the points on the board. I've got the wins. Let's just deal with this one the same as I've dealt with all the other past stuff, okay? So you might not feel like doing it. Don't matter. Take the emotion out of it. Like, there are some times when I wake up at five and I'm like, the bed's a bit comfy. And the thought of a cold shower isn't my cup of tea right now. Don't matter. It does not matter how I feel about the, about the stuff that I need to do. It just needs doing. Remove the emotion from it, do the work, and your ability to actually show up to these problems and to face them and to deal with them is your key to growth is your key to growing your business, to growing your personal brand, to getting in shape, to building that unbreakable mindset, okay? Your ability to show up day in, day out, facing your problems, doing stuff that even if you don't wanna do it, but you know it's good for you, like, like I say, the problems aren't gonna get easier. Every single day when I wake up, the cold shower is gonna be as cold as it is. The ice bath is always gonna be cold when I first get in but my ability to deal with that both physically and mentally improves. Like there will always be business problems or problems with content or fitness things Like I might get injured. It's like, cool, the situation that I'm in, can't just run away into my bath of Ben and Jerry's. I have to sit down, talk about this problem to myself, articulate it, figure out the solution, and then just work on that. That's all it is. So stop running from your problems you're probably watching this and you will have a looming dark figure above you, okay? Whilst you've been watching, you will have thought of a specific problem in your life. So after this video, once you've liked and subscribed, obviously, you want to just talk about it. Just sit in a room, no phone, no screen, maybe like a notepad and paper and just start talking about your problem. And nine times out of 10, you will figure it out, okay? So don't let your problems hold you back. Don't admit to yourself that you're not capable of conquering these problems because you are, you know that, but you just need to reinforce that by showing up, facing your problems. So that's been it for today. Solve your problems, make loads of money, become a legend, and I'll see you tomorrow.